Hi everybody! Recently, specialized holders for slicing onions are becoming quite popular, and many are buying them. But as it goes, today we will try to make it ourselves. First of all, we need a piece of plywood, not less than 5 to 7 mm. We draw a line right in the middle, and then put marks every 5 mm. These marks will guide us when we will drill the holes. Now insert a 1.5 mm drill bit into the drilling machine and start making holes. Ideally, these holes are meant to be made with the help of a machine, because it's unlikely that we'll manage to drill straight with a handheld tool. And if the holes are not straight, the needles will not stand straight as well. But don't worry too much if you don't have a drilling machine. You can make a temporary supporting device or use a level to ensure that everything is on point. Finally, we've drilled the holes. And now we can move on to the next step, which is drawing the shape of the handle. I simply traced around the drill stand with a pencil. And of course, we can make the handle of any shape and size. We just need to find a suitable item to trace around in such a way that the holes from 1st to 17th will be right in the middle. Now let us grip the plywood with a vise or put it onto a workbench and start cutting. Initially, I planned to sew around the lines we drew, but later I decided to change it to be more circular. We do the finishing touches with the help of a sandpaper wheel, and then we smooth down the rough edges with a piece of sandpaper. And so, the final steps to finish off our DIY project. We take the needles, yes, plain old sewing needles, and insert them into the holes. In my case, the holes grip the needles really tight. If they slip free in your case, just apply some glue or epoxy to them beforehand. As I mentioned earlier, I used 17 of them. We are using needles of different sizes, and it turned out pretty nice. Long needle, short needle, and so on. You can varnish or paint the handle in your favorite color, or you can also soak it in wood stain or oil. Personally, I didn't paint it nor did I soak it, because it looks nice as it is. As a result of making our onion slicing holder, we saved some money, because the needles are really cheap and it should not be a problem to find a piece of wood or plywood at home. Your hands will no longer smell bad after slicing onions, because we basically didn't touch them in the process. So guys and girls, I count on you clicking the thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. In return, you can count on us uploading more awesome videos. See ya! Did you know? In Russia, bulb onion got its name from looking similar to turnip.